Hello friends and welcome to this new video. So today we're going to look at this smart door and window sensor kit from Miros. In fact, this smart sensor is one of the most budget friendly on the market for this kit with the sensor, the hub and a power adapter for the US, UK or uh, Europe. You pay only 31 euros and 48 cents. And if you take the standalone version with only the sensor, it only costs you 20 euros and 98 cents. Nice to know is that Miros ships all their orders for free. So for only 20 euros for the standalone version, you already have a smart sensor. So really cool. So as always, let's do let's see the box first, do the unboxing, the installation, and then configuration in HomeKit and some real life scenarios and testing and my conclusion in the end. If you would like to skip to one of those chapters first, you can choose the chapter right below. So before jumping into this, I have to mention that Miro sent me this for free, but as always, I will give you my honest opinion. A smart sensor could be used in a lot of ways. You can use it quite typically on a door or window to detect if it's open or closed. But as I show on the box, you can also use it for some more fun integrations to see if your pet used the litter, for instance. And if you're starting up your smart home, you will see that door sensors are really handy to start some automations. For instance, when you open the door, lights will go on. Where you close the door, lights will go off. Um, I even saw people that did installed a smart sensor on their fridge in order to have an alarm set or lights flashing when the fridge is open too long. So I'm going to install this on my big window in the living room. This way you can connect it to your thermostat if you have a smart HomeKit enabled thermostat, of course. So then when the door is opened or the window is opened, your heating will shut down for that moment. So really nice to set up some automations thanks to a smart sensor. Here we can see some specifics. So it works of course with HomeKit as we can see here, but it also works with Alexa and is compatible with SmartThings. We have notification of course, history export that is within the Mirrors application. And this smart sensor has a battery life for 18 months, which is quite a long period of time. So the battery is a CR2450, which is replaceable by yourself. You see the dimensions here. It is enabled by a hub. So you need the hub as well if you want to connect it to your home kit. The hub communicates with a 433 MHz wave. And normally in-house that would be enough to cover like a normal house uh, with multiple rooms. One hub can be connected up to 16 devices. So if you have one kit and you want to add sensors afterwards, well, you can add a lot of sensors without needing a hub for every sensor itself, but you can also connect other devices. So I have here the smart temperature and humidity sensor kit. Well, I can install this one without a hub because it's the same hub. So the hub connects to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And of course, for the home kit, you need an iOS enabled device. And you have to have your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So let's see what's in the box. So here we have the sensor itself. It is nicely rounded shaped where most of the other sensors of the other brands are more rectangular. So that's really nice to see. We have the little magnet part of the sensor. Oh, there we go. So this is the magnet. And we have this little pry tool in order to reset and pair the device. So here you can see. Then as always, we have the leaflets, so 
So the installation guide and the warranty statement. And then we have the hub itself. So again, this is the same hub for all the devices of mirrors with the little USB cable. And as I said, it came with the power adapter. So that's really nice because more and more we get devices that are USB powered, but without the power socket itself. So here we have the power socket, the little USB cable, and now we can wire the hub itself. And then all the way down in the box we have the 3M tape in order to install the sensors. So now in this manual we can clearly read what are the installation steps. So first we have to connect this hub and then we have to pair it with the sensor. So I already downloaded the mirrors app. Here you can see my devices I have already. So now let's choose to add a device. I'm going to add a smart sensor. And there you go, the MS200, the Windows and Door sensor. So I have installed the hub indeed. Here I can see the light. Yes, it is blinking orange and green. I will use the HomeKit version and now I can scan the HomeKit code. There you go. So then you have to choose where the hub will be in your house. So it will be in my living room. Go on, give it a better name. So I will name this Mirrors Hub. There you go. And you're all set up. As soon as you are in the pairing mode in the Mirrors application, the hub switches automatically to pairing mode as well. You can verify this by this blinking LED light on your hub. Now we remove the insulation tape, which I already done on my door sensor. And now I have to press twice. See, it's blinking now. So choose a name. So I will stick this on my big sliding window. And now it is added. So here's my sensor with the time it closed the last time and a little animation when it opens. There you go. So the magnet can be placed a little bit further away, which is handy if your door isn't completely flat. So even on top, Now I click on it, we have the history and some details. You can set some notification, automations, you see the power. So now let's do the installation of the sensor itself on the window. So I'll put the sensor over here, so first clean the surface with a degreaser. When sticking it on, it is important that this little metal part, this little contact sensor, is facing towards the magnet. I'm going to place the 
sensor itself on the top part and the magnet on the door itself. There's the sensor, now I'm going to stick the magnet with the metal part just beneath. But while doing this I will check in the mirrors application if on this lo location it detects the door as closed. Now I have my sensor in the mirrors app, you can see that I checked the installation and it worked. So now my sliding window is open and I can see all the operations. But as you can see here in the settings, I have no place to indicate where the sensor is located within my home app. So for this, I'm going to the home application, I go to my home settings, I go to my hubs and bridges and here I can see my mirrors hub. You can see I have two devices connected, one is my temperature sensor and I have my contact sensor right here and you can see this is just a room. So now let's indicate where it is. It is within the living room. I could show it as a window or a door. So this is more like a window. And I can set if I want to have notifications. So yes, I want to see it. And yes, I want to have notifications, but only if I'm not at home. So now let's check. When I go to my living room, I can see my contact sensor right here. So of course, this is only the beginning. The nicest thing with contact sensors is setting up automations. So like I did, get a notification as soon as it, as it opens. So this way, whenever I'm not at home, someone should break open the sliding window. I will be notified directly. But more practical is connecting this sensor to other automations, like activating a light as soon as the door opens, or turn off lights when the door closes, or I'm going to connect this to my smart thermostat and you will see a video on that later on. This way, as soon as my sliding window will open, my smart thermostat will turn off the heating. So overall, a really nice door window sensor. I love the look and feel. It is original with a rounded shape. The mirrors app is really handy to set it up. And for this price, it is really the cheapest door sensor on the market, I think. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.